To understand what happens in the small intestine of someone with celiac disease, we first have to take a look at our digestive and our immune system. When we eat, the food passes down the esophagus, is broken down in the stomach, and emptied into the upper part of the small intestine called the duodenum. There, it's mixed with digestive juices that further breaks down the food components and the nutrients into small fragments. To allow the small intestine to efficiently absorb nutrients, it needs a large surface area. To increase the surface area, the small intestine has many folds which are covered with finger-like structures called villi. The villi substantially enlarge the surface area. Here, all digested nutrients, including gluten fragments, can be absorbed across the mucosa of the small intestine. The immune system, our body's police. Our immune system is very active in the small intestine. Different immune cells work together like a police force. They have to distinguish between friend and foe. The antigen-presenting cell takes up any protein particles that come along with its little arms called HLA and present it to a T-helper cell. This type of cell decides if the protein is a friend or foe. For example, food components are usually classified as harmless. But if a harmful pathogen invades a person's body, the T helper cell recognizes the invader uh -oh. and calls other immune cells to defend the body against this pathogen. After all pathogens have been cleared, the immune reaction is stopped. But what happens in celiac disease? After being absorbed from the small intestine, the gluten fragment is further modified by an enzyme called tissue transglutaminase, or TG2. And here is where the genes play a role. In a person who carries the celiac genes, HLA, DQ2, or DQ8, the tiny arms of the antigen-presenting cells have a certain shape. The modified gluten fragment fits into this HLA shape like a key into a lock. In a person without HLA, DQ2 or DQ8 genes, the HLA arms have another shape which binds the modified gluten in a different way. When the antigen presenting cell presents the modified gluten fragment, the T helper cell always recognizes gluten as harmless. The same happens in the majority of people with the celiac HLA genes. The T helper cell usually considers gluten as a friend, but for unknown reasons, it sometimes makes the wrong decision and misrecognizes the hmm. combination of uh -oh. celiac HLA and gluten as a foe. If this happens, the T cell initiates an inflammatory reaction to defend the body. Other immune cells, called B cells, are also involved and start to produce antibodies, not only against gluten, but also against tissue transglutaminase, which is produced by the person's own body and is not a foreigner. Therefore, these antibodies against tissue transglutaminase are called auto-antibodies. They are specific for celiac disease and very important for the diagnosis. What is the consequence of the immune reaction? The immune reaction against gluten and tissue transglutaminase will be maintained as long as gluten is ingested. The ongoing immune reaction causes more and more damage to the villi until they are destroyed and the intestinal mucosa becomes completely flat. Thus, the surface area for nutrient absorption is severely reduced. In combination with the ongoing immune reaction, this often leads to a variety of different symptoms such as diarrhea, abdominal pain or nutrient deficiencies. The immune cells and autoantibodies travel throughout the whole body and may cause damage in other tissues. Therefore, symptoms can occur in almost any part of the body. 
With a gluten-free diet, the immune reaction stops. The small intestine will heal, and the villi will recover. However, because the immune system is extremely watchful, even traces of gluten reinduce the immune reaction. The immune cells remember gluten as a former foe and will reinitiate an immune response right away. Therefore, if you are diagnosed, keep a strict and lifelong gluten-free diet to control your celiac disease and live happy and healthy.